guys and welcome back to another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Once again, I hope everybody's staying safe and healthy. You're joining me today in a little bit of a gray day in Miami. But I'm going to be honest, I don't really uh, dislike a gray day every so often. Today, however, I'm going to talk about what I think is a little bit of gray advice or honestly advice that I really, really, really don't agree with. And I'm going to give my take on it. And that is the fact that you should collect quantity over quality. That does not seem like a correct statement, but it's been one that a lot of people on the forums and even YouTubers have been preaching lately. Um, and it kind of upset me a little bit. Now, of course, before we get started, customary wristwatch check. Today I'm wearing the Seiko SKX, a watch that I think is very appropriate for the video because as much as I do love it, I certainly don't own a collection of Seiko SKXs, but it does play an integral part of my collection. Also guys, don't forget to check out DelrayWatch.com. Bunch of new watches in stock. We just got in a wave dial ceramic Seamaster box and paper, still under Omega warranty, black dial, super cool on the website, uh, along with a Breitling Navitimer, uh, a few Omega Speedmasters, including a limited edition Apollo 14, all on DelrayWatch.com. Don't forget to check it out. Link in the description below. So yeah, guys, let me preface this by saying this is opinion based, right? This is my opinion as a professional watch dealer, someone who's been in the industry over 10 years and a watch collector. And you may disagree with me. And if you do, that's, that's absolutely fine, even though I really do strongly believe um, in what I'm about to say. And that is collecting quantity over quality. There's been a lot of people, uh, particularly lately online, um, that I think are just saying things to make content. Um, or there's people on the forums that genuinely believe this, um, and I genuinely disagree. And that is collecting quantity over quality. Now, I think there's two reasons why this is a complete mistake. Of course, let me preface by saying the most important thing is to collect what you like. Collecting what you like is the only thing that matters. And if you would rather have 10 $100 watches as opposed to one $1,000 watch, that is your prerogative and that is fine. But I'm here to tell you what I think you know, for lack of a better word, that's a little stupid. However, as I said, if you like it, do what you enjoy. And also, no harm in having a beater watch in your collection. Uh, I own an SKX. I have a few watches that are relatively inexpensive, but they're far from uh, the core of my collection. And not to say that you can only collect expensive things, but you should collect um, the best you can comfortably afford. And that's the point of this. Now, the first thing I'm going to say is I think it's a massive mistake that beginner watch collectors make when they start collecting watches. And I almost feel like it's a mistake you should make so you can evolve as a collector. And that is you buy watches, you just get into it, you buy watches because you like it, four or five Seikos, a couple of Citizens, a few Russian watches, some cheaper vintage watches. Two years later, you look down at your box and you realize you have 15 watches that you spent $2,000 on or $3,000 on or even a lot more. And at that price point, you could have had a grail of yours. You could have had that Longines you wanted. You could have had that Omega Seamaster you wanted. But here you are stuck with 15 watches, which I'm going to be very honest with you, are almost impossible to sell. They're worth almost nothing. On the secondary market um, now let me tell you from the kind of perspective of a watch dealer right um, as I said I own a Seiko but a lot of times people they email me and they say hey Fed I have these six Seikos these two citizens um, and this Oris and this Hamilton and I want to trade in towards this Omega and I can tell you that the email usually goes something like this hi thank you so much for the email unfortunately I don't take in Seiko citizen uh, for trade and the Hamilton and Oris are worth this much usually pennies on the dollar So even though a few watches a few lower-end Swiss watches They do retain some value. 
there's almost no dealer that'll take in a Seiko or a Citizen or a, a vintage Wittenauer or a Glycine. Uh, and not to say that these are bad watches, and I'm not saying there aren't exceptions to these rules, because there are a few rare Seikos I have taken in, but here's the truth. You're amassing a collection which is essentially worthless, worthless to a dealer, and you're going to have to put in a lot of legwork to sell it on your own, which of course is your prerogative. Now, all of that, and you spent all this money, and you could have had a watch that you've been lusting after forever you know you could have had that speedmaster if you just controlled yourself a little bit and didn't want to scratch that buying itch every two minutes um you know uh, but once again if you like the seikos and the citizens i'm not telling you not to just please watch collecting is a marathon it's not a sprint i mean hopefully you're going to be alive for a, lo a lot more years and it would be nice to buy something that holds a little bit of value so you can build equity in your collection and you can trade back and forth as opposed to amassing a box full of tchotchkes because you were impatient and you know didn't want to wait and save up not to mention the satisfaction of moving up a quality level the, the evolution as a collector of you know saving and lusting and then finally getting something that is objectively a much nicer watch through hard work now, I'm going to, you know, I don't mean to sound preachy, but I find it not only dishonest that a few collectors would say, I'd rather have these 10 watches than a $3,000 watch, because if you look at their collection, they're full of crap, uh, because they own the expensive pieces themselves. And I also think that most watch collectors have realized that that's a mistake that rookies make. And it's a mistake that should be made because you learn from mistakes, but um, I don't know. I just feel like it's a waste of money. I feel like you're missing uh, part of a beautiful experience of saving up for a grail watch. And at the end of the day, you're going to be stuck with a bunch of things that, you know, you no longer like, are no longer satisfied with, and they're just a bunch of wasted money. However, guys, that is purely my opinion, you know. Please don't let me influence how to collect watches. Collect what you like. But I am here to kind of give you my experienced opinion and try and warn you from just wasting a whole bunch of money because that's what it is. And once again, I'm not saying don't own a beater watch. I love my beater watch, but I don't have a watch box full of 45 Seikos and Citizens because I personally, once again personally, would rather use my money to attain a couple of watches I really, really want than just attain everything that I think eh, is kind of cool, right? I mean, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Am I talking sense? Am I a snob? I know someone's gonna call me a snob for this video, but honestly, I don't think it's snobbery. I think it's common sense. I'd love to hear what you think. Anyway, guys, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really does help. And please don't forget to subscribe. Guys, thank you so much, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.